today? Well, thanks for joining us, folks. My name is Tom Seals. Now, as you can see, I, uh, I play the piano. So we're going to play a few tunes by my favourite piano men. That was a Ray Charles, Ray Charles tune. Now, see if you know this one. Now, when you're the... Uh, fat ginger guy with glasses that plays the piano growing up in the north of England imagine how many Elton John references I got every hour and then whatever that number is times it by 10 and you're getting close so we're going to get Elton out of the way it's a little bit funny it's feeling inside not one of those who can easily hide. I don't have much more. Boy, if I live, I'd buy a be 
Into your brain, they said you on the truth, and they made you change your name. two months ago of my agent and he said Tom we've got you a gig got you a gig on a ship and you're gonna fly to Japan it's gonna pass through Russia and you're gonna end up in Alaska perfect never been to Alaska can't wait so the date goes in the diary perfect and then I look at the diary and, and I get another phone call and it says Tom we've got you a gig in Las Vegas I go well perfect when, when is it well, it's actually four days, well, about five days after you leave Alaska. I said, oh, well, even better. So Japan, Russia, Alaska. Five days later, you're in Las Vegas. Perfect. I don't, obviously, I'm not going to come home. I can stay in America for a few days, have a bit of a holiday. Perfect. And then I get a phone call a couple of days later. Tom, we've, we've got you another gig, and it's actually in the middle of Alaska and Vegas. I said, oh, that's, that's, that's great news. I can, I can stay in America and do another gig and earn a bit more cash. Perfect. He said, well, well that gig, Tom, is actually... Um, you're going to fly to Palermo. Have a day at sea. Then go to Malta for the day. Have a day at sea and then get off in Marseille and fly back to Vegas. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. If anybody knows what day it is, if anybody knows what time it is, I'd be much appreciated if you'd let me know. Thank you. So you can't do a show called The Piano Man. Without playing a certain somebody's tunes. Now we've done Ray Charles, we've done Elton John. Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Here's a few of my favourites. She can kill with a smile. She can wound with her eyes. She can ruin your fate with the casual lies. She only reveals what she wants you to see. She hides like a child, but she's always the one to me. She can lead you to love, she can take you all me. She can ask for the truth, but she'll never leave you. And 
she'll take what you give her just as long as it's free. Yeah, she steals like a thief, but she's old, but she's always, but she's always a woman to me.
up there, hello. How are we? Do we have a royal wave, please, madam, in the royal box? Oh, there we go. So, of course, you can't do a show called The Piano Man and play songs by Billy Joel and not play a certain song. And that song is... Scenes from an Italian restaurant, correct. I'm on the joke. You know this sing along. Do we have a fan of singing from an Italian restaurant down here somewhere?
is smart because he knows it's him in those crazy trousers you come to see to forget about your sunburn for a while. songs left for you folks. Now I'll tell you a little bit about how I started playing the piano. My, my granddad had a 30-piece big band, so I was brought up on swing and big band stuff, all the Glenn Miller, all the Glenn Miller classics. We had a piano at home, and my sister was having singing lessons, and I was about four years old, and I used to just sit at the piano and and just hit it, I imagine. And, uh, my sister was having singing lessons, but she used to hate playing along to the do re mi fa so la ti do. So she used to go, come in, do this. And she used to make her little brother do it. And thankfully she did. Now I get to travel the world and play the same 15 songs. <laughs> and I'm so lucky I have the best job in the world. And I get to sit here and I look around in this beautiful theatre and sit here at the piano and I'm just so lucky so thank you so much for being here folks I really appreciate it. <laughs> now my nan's favourite singer well was Nat King Cole but someone that she uh, someone that she adored was Nina Simone and she used to she used to make me play a couple of her tunes she'd say Tom you need to play this so when I was putting a show together called The Piano Man my mind instantly went to, well, there's, there's a piano woman, really. I know a lot of people don't associate Nina with the piano, but one of the first clips I ever saw of her was her sat at the piano playing this song. It's called I Wish I Knew. How it would feel to be free.
sure a lot of the entertainers tell you this, folks. But these guys here, they, they have no idea what songs that I'm going to play, or the guys tomorrow are going to play, or the night after. We, I met these guys three or four hours ago. I turn up, I give them the music and say, there you go, fellas, this is what we're playing. And every single night they nail it, no perfect. So please make some noise for this incredible band. <laughs> Of course, a big thank you to all the sound guys, lights, and behind the bar, and Luigi and his whole team, and for you guys for making me feel so welcome. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. At this point, I like to bring it down and just do something on my own, and I never know what that's going to be. I'll do a little bit of a medley of some tunes that I've been thinking of this week. And this is going to be my last song, folks, so thank you so much for listening. And on Sunday afternoon, I know nobody knows what day it is when you're on a cruise, but I believe, I'm informed reliably, it's about 4 a.m. my body clock, so I don't know what day it is there, but I believe in the real world right now it's Friday. Okay, I think. So tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, me and you have a date in here, 2 p.m. Okay, I'm back doing a matinee show. I'm going to be doing some more swing stuff and some more blues stuff, so if you fancy that, I'll see you at 2 o'clock on Sunday. And as you leave the theatre tonight, folks, I'll be at the back. Come and say hello. Have some CDs. It's got some of my original material on there if you fancy some of that. And I have a mailing list as well. So write your email address down. And if you fancy staying in touch, that'd be great. And just another note on these guys here. They truly are the most incredible, the most wonderful, the most talented musicians that celebrity could find in their price range. My mother told me Before she passed away She said, son, when I'm gone Don't forget to pray Because I'm talking about those hard times, you know Oh, there'll be hard times here Because who knows Better than I Oh, better than I yeah, yeah, mm. Well, soon I found out Just what she meant When I had to pawn all my clothes Just to pay the rent Because I'm talking about those hard times No Who knows it's better than I I've been so many places in my life and time I've sung a lot of songs I've made some bad runs I've acted out my life on stage Ten thousand people watching Nearly Because we're alone now Sing the song For you I know your image of me Is what I hope to be And if I've treated you A kind of a girl Can't you see There's no one more to. So darling, can't you please see through me? Because we're alone now And I'm singing a song for you And no man Bo jingles any dance hall well, in one I'll choose Ginger hair and ragged shirt Baggy pants Well, he would do the old soft shoe Well, he would jump so high Jump so high 
but then he likely touched on. That's a Mr. Bojangles. I'm calling Mr. Bojangles. That's a Mr. Bojangles. Just come back. So much listed, folks. Good night. And, and thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So, who fancies two o'clock on Sunday? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, I'll see you there. Now, I just want to tell you a little story. I've been very lucky to have worked with some incredible musicians from Gregory Porter to Jamie Cullen, Dame Cleo Lane, Chaz and Dave, um, Sir Paul McCartney. But I got to work with my absolute hero, a guy called Mr. Jules Holland. Now, uh, some of the Brits will know Jules. I don't think he's sort of a, a big name across the pond, but Jules... Is, is the sort of music guy for especially new music in the UK. He has his own TV show, his own radio show, and he helps a lot of new talent come through. And Jules has been my hero for my, for my whole life. And I'm going to tell you a little story in the middle of this last final tune about how I got to work with him. So, for one last time, folks, thanks so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Here we go, fellas. me to appear on a show called the Jules Holland Boogie Woogie and Blues Spectacular and I find myself it wasn't that spectacular I'll be honest it was it was a couple of piano players how spectacular can it be really I find myself sat here my hero Jules Holland is sat here Hollywood superstar Hugh Laurie is sat here and we're doing a six hand boogie woogie thing it was quite spectacular to be honest no, it's and um, after the show, my mum gave me a piece of paper and she said, Tom, read this. I said, what is it? She said, well, read it. My name is Tom. I am 10 years old. And this is my autobiography. When I'm older, my dream is to play the piano with Jules Holland. And she said, it took you 15 years, but I kept it because I knew you'd do it. And I got to sit and play the piano with my hero. And this was a little trick that he taught me. He taught me two things. The first thing is my left hand. That's the boogie. Together. 
the boom, with the boom.